All right, and last, um, the last lesson we did, you uh, configured all the files in your media library. So you should have them all have captions and alt tags and titles. And it, um, you can see I'm back to the old uh, WordPress. This, this looks just like yours does. Uh, the next thing I'm going to want to do is I want to go into, um, should have clicked on the media. Okay, there's all my pictures. Next thing I'm going to do is go into the settings. We did the general settings before, writing, reading, discussion, um, media pretty much, well, these three are for, all for blogs. Uh, the medium is just some general settings that we have for certain pictures. Uh, what we want to do is go into the permalinks before we create our first page. All right, and the permalinks is how does it create um, URLs that people see? By default, it's going to give every page a number, and that's not going to tell anybody anything. So what we want to do is we want to change it to post name, and my hope is that by the time you get to uh, use WordPress, they change uh, post name to page name, because that's what it's going to do. It's going to give us a page name based upon the pages that we create. Uh, they still have remnants of this is only for blogging, and that's one of the post uh, names things that we have on there. So that's what we have to do is change that default setting, and then we have to go down and save the changes. Once they have changed, and it's taken forever, uh, we can go ahead and take a look at our site and see what it looks like right now. Uh, I think, let's see, I think we have deleted our posts. So if we take a look at our site now, it's not going to have anything because right now the site is set up to show posts. Um, but I thought in the last one, yeah, we are we have deleted those. So, okay, the next thing we do now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and create our home page. So we're going to go to pages and then all pages. And then we're going to go ahead oops, and add a new page. All right, looks like it's finally come up. So the next thing we got to do is put some content in here. I'm going to start by putting home in the um, up in the title of the page, and then I need to go get the content that goes down in this area here. So I'm going to go into HTML Kit, and I'm going to go ahead and open up the website that we've already created, which is the tennis site. And open up the index page. All right, so here's what we had before. This is all our links on the bottom, and we don't need any of that because we're going to have a navigation structure. Uh, I don't need to. Well, I'm going to start with the H1, and I'm going to copy down to the end of the Tri Tennis Center is currently blah blah blah. I'm going to go ahead and copy all our tags. And then I'm going to go back to WordPress. And I'm going to make sure that I'm in the text area, not the visual. Text area is uh, making this a text file like an HTML page uh, we used before. And I'm going to paste in all the HTML. All right, then I'm going to uh, update this page or publish it. And what it's going to do is going to go ahead and create that page for us. And notice the permalink up here. Uh, it's using home uh, instead of um, one, uh, which is what I would use before. So as we know, this is our home page. Oh, excellent. So if I want to go ahead and view the page, this is how it's going to look eventually. And that's how it's going to look. So we have our heading and this link down here. Oh, we have two home pages and a sample page. 
So we have some configuration to do before we do anything else. So let's go back to our, um, in fact, we don't have to do anything to the page. The page is fine. Okay, next thing we have to do is customize our theme. So if we go down into our dashboard and go to customize, this is the next thing we want to do. All right, and when it, in the customize area, we're going to uh, change the way the page is displayed. Uh, and also, um, we're also going to change that navigation structure on the top. All right, and this is taking forever. So hopefully it will not break. All right, so here we go. Uh, so we have these two things that we had already set before. Uh, the next thing we have is a static home front page. And what we want to do is, it's made for posts, but we don't want that. So we want it to be our static page. And then the front page we're going to select is our home page. That's why I had two homes, because that page was considered a post. And so I put both of those on there. And is there anything, uh, for now, that's all we're going to do. It's just going to go ahead and change that. So now we're going to go ahead and publish that change. All right, I'm going to close my navigation. And then slowly it will go back. Okay, and then now I'm going to go ahead and... <clears throat> all right, so now you can see we have these two pages. So we want to get rid of that sample page. We don't need that anymore. So I'm just going to go back to my dashboard, delete the sample page. And then the next um, video we'll have is uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of this uh, junk on the right-hand side. So now I'm going to go into pages, all pages, and get rid of that sample page. That was good to have there while we're first starting to build. Uh, other than that, it ends up with a blank website, and that can be confusing. So I just go ahead and leave that pa that page there until after we've created our home page. Then we can go ahead and trash the sample page, because uh, that's no point in having that there. All right, so the next time we come, we'll go ahead and do some more home page maintenance. We're going to go ahead and add a, um, a banner picture on there and also get rid of all the junk on the right-hand side.